Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I want to talk about the Sofern Q8 Plus Ultra Light Powerful Flashlight. You can see it goes up to 16,000 lumens, has 554 meters maximum output, USB Type-C charging, it's IPX8 waterproof rated. A quick look at the back, you can see all the different run times, you can, and the lumen outputs, you can freeze this. But you can see right here, 16,000 16, lumens on uh, turbo, we get five lumen output, on an eco mode. And here's some of the specs here on the end. You can see this is the black version of the flashlight. It's got the uh, XHP50B uh, LED emitters in it. Uh, there's the, the output at 6,000 to 6,500K or Kelvin. Uh, so that's just a quick look at the uh, Sofren Q8 Plus box. Now, very impressed with this flashlight. I've, it's the first Sofren flashlight I've ever had and uh, really like the fit and the finish. I've been impressed by the anodization of the light uh, and just how well it's made, especially for lights that are very uh, uh, reasonably priced. You can see the emitters here on the end. Uh, very nice flashlight. Here's the USB-C port, charging port on it. We'll get into that here in a minute. One of the things I noticed about Sofern right away is that they have the, uh, the, the UI or the switch has a green light on all the time, uh, provided there's power. And of course, some people talked about that being a potential concern for draining the battery. If that's a concern, you can just give it less than a quarter turn and that light will go off, right? So if you're worried about battery drain there, but I think it's pretty neat that you can tell that the, light, the, out, the flashlight is ready to go at any point in time that it's lit green. So uh, this has a, 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 if we look here in the box real quick, let's just see what's inside here. You can see it slides off the outer sleeve. Very nice box. I think it used to just come in a regular cardboard box, uh, plain cardboard box, but it's got this magnetic, you know, lid now on here. Uh, got the instructions here. Uh, you'll notice that it has the uh, Andril 2 is an open source uh, firmware for the flashlight that it uses. And there's a, a simple and an advanced UI. So you'll have to sort through that. I, I think uh, there basically you give it, you press the, the uh, switch nine times and then hold it down the 10th press. You can't quite see it there, but, uh, and that puts you, I think, over in this advanced UI mode. But as, as best I can tell, even in the simple UI mode, which is what I think it has out of the box, that you can get into turbo. So this talks all about that. And of course you can find more information online, but pretty interesting that it comes with this open source firmware, uh, not, not a proprietary firmware for the light. It has this little cover in here that comes under the, the light. You'll see that when open up the battery compartment that keeps, you gotta take that out before you can use the flashlight. Couple of extra O-rings, and it has a USB-A to USB Type-C uh, charging cable that comes with it that I don't have here at the moment. Uh, really fascinating that you can have this advanced UI. I, I like it. Um, lots of things going on here. Uh, for example, one, we'll just go through the basic features. So if I give it one press, it turns the light on, right? If I hold the button down, it ramps it up and down by dimming it, right? It doesn't step, okay? But if I wanted it to step, I could just tap this button quickly uh, with the flashlight on, I think three times. Yeah, and now you'll see it steps instead of dimming slowly up and down. So, but you'll see now, I do three quick taps while it's on, and now it ramps up and down. But as I, now notice the orange lights are on. Now that is supposed to mean, I think it's supposed to do this when it's charging up this can be used in, as an external battery pack. So you could charge up your, your smartphone with, this, uh, with this, this flashlight. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. But I think these orange lights mean that it's charging. Like if I loosen it up, tighten it back up, you'll see the lights go off, right? The orange light anyway. But a lot of advanced features there in the mode. If I, if I had the flashlight off and I tap this button three times, you'll see it flashes three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. That means it's 3.9 volts. So it's telling me the voltage of the flashlight, right? Three taps real quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three volts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three point nine volts. The battery, you know, it's considered, I think, its lowest charge, I think, would show up at three volts. Maximum charge when this thing's fully charged, I think it's 4.2 volts. So interesting you can see the voltage. That's what I mean by it has a lot of advanced features in the uh, the flashlight's firmware in UI. So that's something if you uh, you might be interested in, in, in checking out. Here's a look uh, behind the lens of the flashlight. You can see that it comes with three batteries. All right, we'll take a look at those. Mill, milled out, all three are milled out 
in that aluminum sleeve for the flashlight. But three batteries, they're branded <clears throat> as Sofern. I don't see any indication of any other type of branding on here. They're 21700 cells, okay, in terms of their size, three of them, of course. And it's uh, 5,000 uh, milliamp hours uh, is the rating on those batteries. So large capacity batteries. Now, these batteries, you can get this flashlight without the batteries or with it. Of course, I got them with it. Uh, but if you were to change these batteries out and put in uh, Samsung high drain batteries or uh, what they call Molly cell batteries. I'll have a link in the description to those batteries and, and this flashlight, of course. Uh, I, it's my understanding that this flashlight will go from a 16,000 uh, lumen output to 20,000 lumens. So if you're looking to get more lumens, you know, you could just buy this light without the batteries and put in, you know, high drain batteries or uh, Molly cell batteries and get uh, even more lumen output. So another kind of fascinating thing with this light and, and so far and even uh, talks about that on their website and, and they talk about the firmware too it's really interesting uh, like i said usb-c for charging so let's take a look at that real quick um, like i said it comes with the usb-a to usb-c charging cable it's black but i'm just going to plug in a, a cable i have real quick just to show what it does when you plug it into charge so when it's charging it should be flashing blue yeah starts flashing blue when it's fully charged uh, this button will turn to a solid blue color so you'll know it's done charging so that's how the charging works. Very handy because USB-C, of course, is common. Uh, now, notice it's still got that charge light on. I'm, if somebody understands that, they can explain in the comments. I, I don't know why it's doing that because it's my understanding that that feature is supposed to come into play when you are charging a device such as a smartphone. So I have a USB-C cable here. Okay, I plugged it in. Notice it went to the orange and the button. And I'm going to plug in a smartphone here. I can plug it in and you can see that now it's charging this smartphone. So pretty handy that it can be used as a powder battery bank. Uh, it can be used as a power bank, so that's really nice as well. Um, nice uh, cover for the USB-C port. Gets in there really well. Does a great job, I think, of sealing that port up. Again, you can see that orange light is on. It's my understanding that this orange light will, if you read in the directions, it will, it will flash when the battery is low. So that's how the orange light will behave differently in terms of that, how that UI works. So um, if I tap this button four times, puts it in lockout, I think we might have ran into that earlier, but you can see now in lockout how that button behaves in lockout mode. So pretty neat to uh, tell you, the flashlight's got a lot of um, interesting features to it. So if I take this flashlight and I double tap the button, you can see it goes in the turbo. Notice that the, the button gets, turns into a bright green here on the flashlight. Turn it off. Now I can also go in the turbo by tapping this once and then holding it on the second tap. And I'll show you how that behaves. If I hold it now, it'll stay on turbo until I let off the button. Right? So when I let off the button, it turns off. Yeah, you can see that. So it turns off when I let off immediately. So it has more of a momentary press if you tap it once and hold it on the second tap. So a lot of features, you know, a lot more than I can go over here. And it's really interesting to sort of play with the uh, firmware and, and to see all those features. Uh, so really nice flashlight, really impressed with its output. Now this is more, you know, this really is an area light. This isn't something where, you know, if you're looking to get a really long distance out of a light and see something, uh, uh, that's really far away, you're going to want something probably that has a TIR lens. And, and Sovereign makes uh, those types of flashlights that have that TIR, TIR type lens that's specifically made to throw the beam out. But this is more of an area light. So, you know, when you turn this on, it lights up the whole of an area. And if you compare it to something like, like Milwaukee's uh, floodlight, uh, you know, I think they call it the Milwaukee searchlight, this thing just crushes the Milwaukee searchlight. So another thing that's really great about this flashlight, you also see it has a quarter 20 threaded hole here for a tripod. So you have to think about one of those tripod mounts where you can thread it in and it's sort of a short tripod with those rubbery type legs. This light would be great for that. So you could, you know, mount that tripod on it and have flexible legs that you could sort of fold back and, you know, easily carry on the light. You could just plop this down on your truck, point the light in whatever direction you need it. Uh, it could make it, you know, really handy if you need to mount the light somewhere. So it's nice they've included this 40, 20 thread on here. So really nice flashlight, super impressed with the, uh, the fit and finish of this flashlight. Just give some close-up shots there of the flashlight, you know, to kind of show how uh, good this uh, light looks. We could also, you know, if you want, I could do a quick test here and see just how, you know, just how 
what temperature this lake gets up to, how hot does it get? Slowing down here to 100 degrees. So there you go, 100, 101. So, so the light does warm up for sure uh, if you're going to keep it on turbo for any length, any length of time. So you know you want to keep your hand back here on the handle. Doesn't really feel warm here. You get up near these heat sinks, and you can tell if you're looking here at the light. You can see it's got these deep heat sinks right here to help cool the light off right on these uh, sides. That's what that's all about is to help dissipate heat uh, that comes from the emitter when it's on high. Um, doesn't really feel too hot to the to handle, especially if you keep it back here on where the battery case is. So, um, I mean, let's let's get a temperature here right now after it's been running for a while. 109. So you can see it's still warming up, and that, that's normal for these flashlights. It's nothing unusual. Just wanted to take a quick look at that. So, again, it feels fine back here on the flashlight. And again, remember that turbo setting is supposed to be something that's momentarily used, not something to use for a long time so there you have it folks the uh sofren q8 plus really excellent flashlight i've been putting this through its paces for some time really enjoyed using it uh again i'm really impressed with the uh the, the cost of these flashlights and what you get in terms of the quality uh, again very impressed with the the anodization of the light uh very impressed with the the finish of it uh, so sofren uh, is definitely something that uh I think it's worth a look. So let me know in the comments what you think of this flashlight. Uh, if you've tried it before, or if you have something you like better, again, this is, I think, their highest output flashlight. And it's really for uh, when you're trying to light up a large area uh, for uh, any length of time. So it certainly does that job well. Um, and please remember to uh, like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video.